Welcome back, everybody. It's an exciting new exhibit at the Honolulu Museum of Art featuring the work of one of today's most acclaimed contemporary artists. Mm -hmm. And John went over to give us a sneak peek. Check it out. We're at the Honolulu Museum of Art checking out a new exhibition, and it's just recently opened, so we're talking to Tyler Ken, who is a curator here. Thank you so much for having us down. Appreciate it. It's a great pleasure. Thank you for coming. Uh, it's, it's really nice in here. Um, it's nice and air-conditioned in here, and Indeed. I'm looking at a, some great art pieces. Tell us a little bit about it. So this exhibition is called Salman Tour, No Ordinary Love. It was organized by the Baltimore Museum of Art, but its presentation here in Honolulu at the Honolulu Museum of Art is uh, sponsored by Shangri-La Museum of Islam art, culture, and design. Um, Salman Tour was uh, born in Lahore, Pakistan, but he lives and works in New York. Um, and his work really does speak to, um, to, to that experience um, uh, as an immigrant, uh, but also as somebody who identifies as queer and how they have sort of negotiated contemporary life um, within that experience in the United States. And um, yeah, it, it features this really beautiful emotional texture um, of his works. They are at once mysterious, tender, intimate, beautiful, and they have this also this underlying sense of sometimes violence um, or maybe absurdity as well. Okay, I see different colors, and then I, in some of the pieces, I also see no color, black and white. Tell me a little bit about uh, this artist's uh, style. So a uh, Salman Tour has a real kind of this signature palette of greens um, that he uses to really infuse his works with this kind of sense of nocturnal mystery to them. Um, also the brush strokes that he uses, I mean, it might be sort of a bit reminiscent of like a Van Gogh or something like this, but uh, I think one thing that stands out in Salman Tour's works is the way he mixes in um, elements of art history to really reflect on sort of the traditions of art and painting of which he is a part, but that he's also upending and breaking traditions and forming new ones. Tell me, uh, somebody coming down here for the first time, what do you hope this exhibition uh, what kind of story do you hope it tells people that visit? Uh, what do you hope they see? Like any art museum, we really do aspire to be a place for the community. Um, this exhibition is, um, you know, features an artist who identifies as queer, and it is a real opportunity for us as an institution to sort of be in community and stand in sol solidarity with um, the Mahu and LGBTQ community here. Um, but I think also crucially, you know, exhibitions like this also offer an image of difference. Um, you know, we are not just, we're in, in a way, sort of in a museum's way, um, you know, validating and legitimizing certain forms of experience, um, not only for those, you know, audiences for whom that really speaks to their experience of the world, but for everybody. Mm -hmm. And I think in a place as, you know, complex and layered as Hawaii. Um, it is really important for us to do an exhibition like this. It's great that it connects to Hawaii. It does, indeed. Perfect. Uh, it's already started. We're a couple days into the exhibition. Tell me when it runs through and uh, uh, all the details on, on when to come down. Um, well, yes, we are, um, you know, you can definitely check our website for our regular opening hours. Um, and we're open Wednesday through Sunday, so we really hope that people um, come on out and see this exhibition, as well as everything else that is on display at the museum. Perfect, and we'll have more details on our website, kwen2.com, uh, shortly after the show. Tyler, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, a lot of things happening at the Honolulu Museum of Art. Uh, this recently just opened last weekend, so mm -hmm. uh, you guys, take advantage and everything happening at the Museum of Arts, they have a lot of things going on, different exhibits. Uh, they have some, um, some things that you guys can participate after hours, which is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. super neat. And they have food there too, so make oh, sure you- I know. Yeah. I, th I think that's like the best way to spend a day. Go to yeah. their restaurant, grab some lunch, and then walk around and enjoy the art.